Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to redo this video because the first one I uploaded was way too long, too much blabbering. This one I'll try to get straight to the point and hopefully we can keep it under 10 minutes. My tank is a standard 120 gallon. It's 4 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet. It's made by Vizio. It's a black rim tank. You know, mass manufactured. I went with this kind of tank for several reasons. Probably the main one, it has to do with money. I couldn't justify paying that much for a rimless or a Euro brace tank um, when I knew I was gonna cover the top. I had a rimless tank in the past, and I, to make it short, I just got sick of the light shining all up in my face when I stare at the tank, which I do a lot, sometimes hours at a time. The only thing that I have to deal with with this type of tank is a center brace. This is what I got up there now. I actually, this is actually a replacement. The original one broke because I dropped the light on it and I replaced it with this one. Another reason why I went with a standard tank is because uh, I couldn't get a Euro braced tank because I love these sea swirls. And just the way that these sea swirls are set up, you can't really put this power head um, wherever you want it. I have a Tunzi on there, you see. Um, so I needed to build these special wood stands so I could have that Tunzi um, as high as possible and off to the side. And with a Euro base tank, it would have limited me on where I could put that. All right, so I want to talk about lighting now. Lighting is with a 8 by 54 watt T5 power module. It's an old power module. Um, back then when the power modules weren't hybrids. That lighting is supplemented. Let me pull this off here for good. By a DIY LED fixture. It's an LED strip light. I made it myself. And the reason I went this route is because um, there are just some features of the Reef Bright that I didn't, or that weren't optimal. For example, Reef Bright doesn't tell you what kind of LEDs are in their strip, so I wanted to incorporate my own blend. Um, mine is also fan cooled and dimmable, um, which is controlled by my Apex. But that adds a nice uh, pop to the corals. For flow, I have two MP40s. One on each side, there's one there. I got another one on the other side. And up in the top corners are a ton Z6105s on the C sweeps. So there are there are they are controlled and they are also um, oscillating back and forth 90 degrees. And the last bit about flow is where my return pump goes into the tank. That's on a C swirl. It's just that nozzle there that uh, rotates back and forth, also 90 degrees. All right, let's take a look down below. Check out my sump. Hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy here. But I gotta... All right, let me sh turn on the light here. All right, it's gonna be bright. Oh, okay, not that bright. <laughs> All right, so let me move these gloves out of the way. But my sump is... um. It's a 40 breeder, so it's 36 inches long by 18 inches front and back and 16 inches tall. That's perfect um, because it's so it's not so tall, and I can have a lot of room up top here to move the skimmer and perform maintenance and whatnot. And plus, my stand is I built it pretty tall, um, or I should say, relatively tall. The uh, top of the tank is at my eye level. So that left a lot of room down here to work. So water comes in through a uh, bean style overflow, which I didn't talk about, but I can show it a little bit later. And through this little acrylic box, that's just where I have uh, filter floss and a bag of carbon. My skimmer is a Bubble King Mini 180. Love this thing, had this thing for about six years, like a bunch of other equipment on my tank. Six or seven years, like the lights and the pumps are all old. Um, but working fine. In this corner, I have a pump feeding my manifold. 
And that manifold um, feeds two things. One is my reactor, media reactor, that has Rolofoss in it. I've been running Rolofoss for a long time now. Love that stuff over your standard GFOs. And it also feeds my macro algae reactor. Not much to look at. I do have it covered in some cardboard box cut out. But uh, I posted a video on this a couple weeks ago. If you wanted to check that out, I'll put a link in the description. That's just a schemate collector. That thing's good to have since I, I'm always going out of town for work. All right, so after the skimmer compartment, I have a compartment with a DSV. So I got a remote DSV. There's also rock rubble in that chamber, which I don't think I really need, but I just kind of threw it in there. Water flows into this small compartment here, which just has a sponge for biological filtration and mechanical filtration, and then some support racks down there for more biological filtration. Heater there, obviously not a pair pump is there. Had that pump for a long time too, probably about seven years. That's a just a standard float valve. That's how I top off. Been doing that for 20 years without any problems. I do dose, I don't have a calcium reactor, so those are all my containers there. Got the dosing pumps up here. And then, it's not much to look at because this is kind of the hidden corner of my tank. But I got all my electrical stuff on this side of the tank. I have the newer Apex and actually that's pretty much it. Newer Apex, a bunch of power bars and um, there's my driver for my DIY LEDs. I actually have my RO unit here too. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show my overflow. It's a, it's just a, a ghost ripoff overflow. Bought it from eBay. Love this thing. It's pretty low profile. But that's another reason why I wanted to go with a, uh, you know, my own type of tank that I built myself instead of getting a custom one with a, with that came with a overflow. Is because I wanted to throw this sucker on there, but works really well. Love it. Alright guys, well, that's about 8 minutes. That's the very basics of my tank. Next video I'll probably do... Uh, we'll probably be talking about the corals and the livestock and how this tank came to life about 17 months ago. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.